Good morning, my name is Richard. I'm a sewer sluice. Today I am at property address 3204 Southeast Risley Street in Milwaukee. I am uh, located in the basement. I got my camera in a uh, three inch ABS I tied into the four inch cast pipe. And we're sitting in the camera at a Y in a driveway. And uh, there's a, a detached shop next door and we're trying to uh, get some water to come through it and see if there's any activity and try to confirm that that uh, bathroom is hooked up to the uh, sanitary sewer of the primary home. We will continue on and evaluate the line all the way to the street and hopefully uh, this is under construction right now so there's a uh, limited water source but we're trying to get some water to come through the toilet of that shop. But I'm going to continue on for now. Okay, there's an ABS uh, pipe, looks like a two inch, that's kind of lodged around the cast iron pipe, and it looks like it's concrete mortared around or glued in there. Uh, it's probably not up to code, but um, we have some, um, a kitchen or a bathroom sink in the shop that we got some water trickling through, and we're going to uh, pick up the flow to see if this is tying in here. Okay, right here at 20 feet, um, it transitions over from 4 inch cast pipe to 4 inch uh, what appears to be transite concrete. So far I'm not really seeing any activity uh, coming through the pipe from the shop. We do have some water running through it, uh, so I'll look for any other tie-ins. So far we've had one Y at 15 feet, and then we had another area where there was a 2 inch. Could be a possible storm drain too from the uh, gutters of the shop tying into the sewer. Hard to say, but we're going to continue on and evaluate the concrete portion.
Okay, right here at 41 feet, uh, looks like we got some build up here coming through, blocking half the line. I'll come back to this area and do locates. Okay, there's another Y here at 45 feet. I'm uncertain to uh, what this is tying in from, if it's a neighbor. Um, hard to say, but we're going to uh, mark that and uh, continue on. Okay, uh, we're 71 feet out. I'm going to do locates. It's getting difficult to push the cable any further, mainly because the point of access is above my head, and there's a couple 90s that we go across. I'm going to locate and see where we are.
Okay, we are near the street here, and I can view up ahead. It, it's looking decent condition um, as we continue on. And I am going to pull back and mark where those Ys are joining in, and then also where that uh, area where it's blocking 50% of the line, and recommend a spot repair there. Okay, I'm going to mark this Y at uh, 44 feet. Okay, I located the camera where this Y is, and it uh, definitely looks like from the detached building shop um, is where that tie-in is coming from, the front corner of the building. So I marked it with some green paint. I'm going to go ahead and pull back and uh, locate where that blockage is. Okay, here's uh, what appears to be the back side of a pipe coming through. Uh, it's hard to say. I'm not able to turn the camera and look the other direction, but it uh, looks like something else that's tying in from a shop or a storm drain or something. But the concern is that it's blocking half the line here, and it can uh, cause a potential threat of a backup from the primary home. So I'm going to locate this. Okay, I located where uh, this possibly lodged uh, pipe that's coming through. It's not too far from the Y near the uh, um, detached shop. And I put an X mark and it's approximately three and a half feet in depth. So I do recommend a spot repair here to excavate down and uh, hopefully eliminate this pipe or do a proper Y in um, where it doesn't uh, interfere with the flow line of the primary sanitary sewer. I'm going to pull back and mark that first Y at 15 feet. Okay, I'm going to mark where this ABS pipe's uh, shoved through here, too. This is uh, definitely not up to code. Okay, I located the camera here, and it does look like there's a downspout uh, to the building in the back of the home that uh, they decided to... 